so now you're setting me up. <laughs> now you're getting me going. <laughs> so I think today we have a lack of strong leaders. I don't think we have the leaders that you're describing. I don't think we have the people that are willing to knock on the door of danger, of risk, of let's go mix things up. Let's shoot for the back fence and swing big. I think we do have what you were describing, the, the stable, the predictable leaders. How much of that lack of risk-taking leaders is hurting us right now across the world, across the globe, here in America? Why don't we have those visionary risk-takers leading the way you're describing? Mm -hmm. Why don't we? <laughs> you have so so like have we really been put into a box that much have have we been trained that much schooled that much that we've lost the sense of follow me let's take the hill okay when's the last time you listened to an analyst call for a public company it's been a while <laughs> okay put it in your memory bank mm -hmm. you know that the questions are will you meet the earnings forecast yep what are you doing to manage risk here are three things going on in your industry that we think are going to put you in trouble. What are you doing about them? Mm -hmm. Right? So we've just said you will be rewarded on your ability to deliver on your promise. Even when the unexpected shows up and you better have a good answer for us. Mm -hmm. And then the unexpected happens that even the reporters didn't come up with and a curveball comes in called COVID. Or a curveball comes in like pirates in the Suez Canal and that blows up the supply chain, mm -hmm. right? We could go on and on. Cascading crises in the world. Leaders have never been trained to be agile, generative, regenerative, any of those fancy terms. They've been trained to be consistent, reliable, trustworthy, and they they cause their organizations a lot of pain in the process because if you're off plan, everything else stops. Everything you're investing in strategically to move the organization, to meet the market, all of these things I'm talking about that feel so aspirational come to a screeching halt. 